while, we encounter a giant amongst men. In the world of sport, they carry a nation's hopes on their back. We call them greats, legends, and perhaps even the greatest. They enthrall us with their talent, and better still, some can conjure the ability to match their sporting prowess with charm and charisma. These are the special breed, and in motorcycling, we've been blessed with some of the best. I think I was the one that coined him the GOAT you know, a long time ago, greatest of all time. Gifted, passionate, and charismatic. He came, he conquered, and kicked ass. He's able to combine that fun factor with ultimate performance. For every record they achieve, there will always be another challenge. In the case of MotoGP and the world of motorcycling, there is a rider who comes close to being called the greatest. His name, Valentino Rossi. This is the story of Valentino Rossi, told by those who know him best and the man himself. This story takes us from the racetrack back to the heart of his world in Tavulia to get the insight on what makes this man worthy of the title, the greatest of all time. Born and raised in the quiet, unassuming town of Tavulia, up in the hills above the Adriatic coast of Italy, he arrived into this world the son of a fantastic motorsports talent, Graziano Rossi. I always uh, play with Graziano, with my father, with motorcycle, because uh, you, know, you know that way, you know? Io credo che sia difficile per un bambino che, fai, che gioca non appassionarsi a un gioco così magico come quello del, delle moto. Avevamo capito già da, da, da piccolini che comunque lui era, era un talento. Io sono tra, stato tra i primi sicuro a Tavuglia a dire secondo me questo è... Questo ragazzo è uno che fa strada. I start to have the idea to become a real rider when I arrive at the World Championship in uh, in 96. Inspired by his father, the young Rossi began his Moto Grand Prix career in 1996 after experiencing success in the Italian Championship. Never short of confidence, his taste for victory was matched only by his unwavering quest to have fun. He has that charismatic sort of Peter Pan appeal. Un campione che fuori da ogni da ogni immaginazione. He loves motorcycling. He loves to ride the bike, and and I think that he's able to he's able to transmit that that true passion and desire for what he does and he's able then to communicate that to other people, and I think that's what people really appreciate. What has followed in over 20 years of racing at the highest level of the sport has combined exceptional talent with the mastery of entertainment. The most that I enjoy more was when in 99 in Jerez I got the toilet with the 250. But also Mugello in 2002 when the, the police stopped me and make me the, the, the laser, the, the, the picture for, for the la multa. Whether or not you know him for his racing prowess or crazed celebrations, the man known as the doctor has become an institution within motorcycling and the legend of Valentino Rossi now transcends the world of sport. Who is Valentino Rossi? A friend, fast as hell on a motorcycle, and I think a genuinely just a really good guy. Io tante volte a chi non conosce Vale eh, dico sempre eh, voi mh, vedete eh, quello che lui fa, le sue gesta da pilota Eh, ma io vi posso garantire che l'uomo è ancora meglio del pilota.
you see everything. <laughs> I mean, honestly, from his uh, his ritual to getting on the bike and uh, just how he is uh, on camera, off camera. I think he's he doesn't have two acts. That what you see on TV, that is uh, that's Valentino. Noi, io, io perlomeno, lo vedo sempre come un dono, sia quando vince, sia quando perde, è sempre un dono. È uno dei personaggi più importanti al mondo, ma è uno dei personaggi anche più vicini alla gente, no? Rispetto a tutti gli altri. Che lì è uno che, secondo me, ha gli attributi. No matter what machinery is introduced to Valentino, his desire to wring its neck and push its ability to conform to his lust for speed will always shine through. From his infamous and highly competitive Formula One test to the multiple wins he has chalked up at Monza Rally, Rossi has proved his mastery of all things fast. In fact, stepping into a NASCAR stock car for the first time, he was totally at ease with ferocious beast, clocking in laps that were literally within tenths of NASCAR champion Kyle Busch himself. Caged or not, four wheel or two, Valley only knows one pace, and that's flat out. The highest number of wins in the modern MotoGP era, and he has the most podium appearances in the history of the sport. Kenny Jr. said to me, he goes, isn't it weird when you get behind Valentino? He just always seems to be pulling meters on you. Like you can't make up five meters and then him pull six. He, he's just constantly pulling away from you. And, um, it was true. He was pretty unbeatable. I don't know how many years he's been in the sport. Maybe this is his 20th year, perhaps. That's, that's amazing. To still to have that drive and that push, to be riding as good as he is, uh, very impressive. 86 Premier Class victory for the Italian. For all his worldwide acclaim, from fans and fellow sporting icons alike, Valentino remains fiercely loyal to the inner circle of trusted friends who have supported him throughout his journey. Retreating back to Tavulia after each race weekend, the bond he has with his hometown and people he grew up with is key to understanding the man and his legend. To know Valentino, you need to listen to his inner circle. Uno che Valentino Rossi è una è il class, la classica persona tosta, è uno che va a cercare sempre il limite su tutto, quello che fa anche qui perché eh, io penso che lui sia un extraterrestre veramente, cioè qualcosa di fuori dall'ordinario. Well, you imagine if you put uh, Tiger Woods together with Michael Jordan together with Roger Federer and put them put that combination on the motorcycle. Over the course of the next four episodes, we'll take you right into the heart of Valentino's world and hear plenty from Valley himself. But where better to celebrate the Rossi legend than in Mugello, home of some of his greatest moments as a MotoGP rider, which is where we will pick up the story next time out.